brought to you by naturalhealer.com.au. All rights reserved. Hi, sweet friends. I wanted to do a special blog post this month, given that we're on the cusp of another new year. In this post, I'm going to explain to you a little secret about how you can manifest your goals for the next year. It doesn't take a lot of effort. You just need to be aware of it and implement it. Now, before I dive into the details of this blog post today, I'd like to start off by getting us all on the same page with an analogy. Now, if you're one of my students, you're very used to my analogies by now. Okay, so firstly, would you agree that if you wanted to hear, say, a rock and roll song, like Living on a Prayer by Bon Jovi, you're not going to find it by tuning into the classical channel or the R&B channel on the radio station. Of course, that makes sense. You'd expect to find a Bon Jovi song on the rock and roll radio station, right? Okay, so being on the rock and roll channel once you tune into it doesn't necessarily mean you're going to hear the Bon Jovi song right away. However, by being on the right channel, you have the highest probability of hearing it. Are we all following along now? Okay, great. So let's put that rock and roll song and radio channel analogy aside for a moment and let's move in and talk about your emotions. Firstly, would you agree that when you feel really good, sayings like, I'm walking on air, or I'm flying high, or I'm on top of the world, match up with the feeling you're experiencing? Yes, of course. Notice that the words that you're expressing when you feel good are all representative of being up high. It's like our frontal lobe brain is saying, I'm on a higher vibration or a higher channel. With that in mind, would you agree that when you feel really bad, saying things like, I'm feeling so down, or I'm in a rut, or I've hit rock bottom, match up with that bad feeling? Of course. Now notice the words we express are signaling being down low. And that's our way of saying, I'm on a lower vibration, or again, a low channel. Stick with me now. I'm about to pull this all together for you. So let's now move into getting something that you want, be it a better job, your own home, the perfect partner, whatever it might be. Now, do you think that you'll have a better chance of obtaining it when you're on an up high channel or on a down low channel? If you had to choose which channel does your goal, which remember makes you feel really good, put you on? Is your goal on a high channel? or a low one. Thinking of that, would you then agree that your goal is something sitting on an up high channel? Yes, of course. So let's go back to the rock and roll Bon Jovi song again. Remember, if you want to listen to that song, you have to be on the right channel, correct? Yes. So for you to get that goal you want, you have to be on the right channel as well? Of course. Being on the right channel doesn't mean it's going to ta-da, be there all of a sudden. But if you want the best chances of getting it, you have to get on that channel first. So your goal is on the up high channel, but maybe you're not there to get it. So how do you get up on that up high channel then? Well, this is where everyday gratitude comes in. Now I'd like to point out, there is absolutely no point in pretending to be on a higher channel. That doesn't work. Pretending to be all up high doesn't actually fool us at the molecular quantum level where you actually may be feeling low. However, when you feel gratitude, your vibration naturally rises up, right up there with true love. So it seems simple, right? At every opportunity, you need to feel and even better express gratitude. So no pretending required. You will feel at your core that higher feeling and it will raise you up to that higher channel. Now, it's easy to feel grateful for the big things, especially if unexpected, you know, like a pay rise at work or if someone pulls you out from underneath a car. Of course, being grateful in those instances is so easy, but it's the everyday things that are most challenging. That everyday gratitude is your ticket to your goals. So be thankful for the little things first as they induce little bits of gratitude. 
If it's only once a day, that's a great start. Then make it like a game. Look for every opportunity to be really grateful. Not the fake fleeting gratitude, the real gratitude. If someone holds open the door for you, even if they don't look at you and it slips through their hands as you enter, be grateful even if their action wasn't super warm and fuzzy. Why? Because they didn't have to do it, yet they did it for you. And when you realize that and you feel the little bit of gratitude of, oh, that was really nice, that little vibration goes up. And then after a week, you maybe look for two things a day, then three, then four. And before you know it, you'll be feeling gratitude so often that you'll be on that up high vibration more often than ever before, which remember places you on the right channel more often to achieve your goal. This continuous everyday gratitude finally puts you on the right channel for all your desires. You may want to keep a journal and write in it every day as a way to induce that gratitude on a regular basis. I've kept a gratitude journal for years and it can be anything from a simple notepad to something really super fancy. Whatever suits you and your situation. The biggest thing here is to just start feeling everyday gratitude and see what happens to you every day. Now give this a try and let me know how you go. And if you have any tips to share on how you do everyday gratitude, please feel free to comment on this blog post on my website. I truly believe that when you get on the right channel and you use everyday gratitude, you will be able to achieve your goals. But no matter what path you choose, keep spreading your love and light, my sweet friends, and happy holidays and have a wonderful new year. Big love to you.